Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a quick look at the current state of the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia. Although Xenia has been around for the better part of a decade, progress on the emulator has been gradual as it's always been a side project for the small development team. Over the last couple of years however, some major improvements have been made and as a result, quite a few games are playable to some extent or another. I've picked three that I want to highlight so that you can get a better idea of what to expect from this emulator. For most of this video, I'm using an AMD RX 590 graphics card, but I'll also cut in some footage where I'm using a 1080 Ti. In both cases, the second PC was used to capture the footage, so the performance should not be affected at all. I focused on the AMD card not only because it's closer to what the average user will have in their PC, but also because there's a bug that causes frequent crashes for Nvidia users. This issue has only been around for about a month, so hopefully it'll be worked out soon. As it is, however, this emulator is currently most stable with AMD GPUs with ROV turned off in the config file. You'll find links to the Xenia website and Patreon page down in the description, so check those out if you want to download this emulator or support the developers. Also be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for emulator updates, tutorials, and more. I figure a good place to start is Halo 3 since it's the first Halo on the 360 and because the PC release is coming up as part of the Master Chief Collection. I've been very impressed with how well Halo 3 is running on Xenia. There are few spots where this game hiccups as things load, but I'm typically sitting right around 30 frames per second with the RX 590, with some dips into the low 20s and high teens when there's a lot of action on screen. While the higher end PC does a better job of hanging on to 30 frames per second, there's still some drops into the 20s. Although the frame rates are looking pretty good, there are a few issues with this game. Some of the audio is a bit messed up in the cutscenes, and there are a few graphical issues when you do things like drive a wraith or use a scope on the Covenant Carbine. Unfortunately, this also isn't the most stable game. I seem to be able to get through about a chapter before Xenia inevitably crashes. Despite this, I have been able to progress through the campaign, so it may be fully playable if you have the patience. It wouldn't surprise me if there is something preventing progress later in the game though. In my opinion, the big advantage to the Xbox 360 version of Halo 3 is the local multiplayer, and it works beautifully in Xenia. It also seems to be more stable than the campaign, so if you and a few friends want to get together and play some Halo 3 on the PC, I'd say give it a shot. The second game we'll be looking at is Red Dead Redemption. You may have seen this game running after some huge improvements at the beginning of the year. We haven't seen another major leap like that, but this game still runs decently depending on your hardware. On the RX 590, a pretty mid-tier card, I'm getting a consistent 10 to 20 frames per second, with the game typically hanging around 15 frames per second. And with the 1080 Ti, this game mostly runs at 25 to 30 frames per second, with the frame rate dipping into the low 20s in towns. There are some graphical issues such as foliage not rendering immediately and green artifacts around blood stains on AMD GPUs, however the game seems quite stable overall. I didn't experience a single random crash while playing for several hours on end. And that raises the point that while the frame rate on the RX 590 isn't ideal, I still found myself playing continuously until I hit a hard stop. Unfortunately, this game currently hangs up while loading into the 12th mission, so it's not fully playable at this time. I can't leave you hanging without covering at least one fully playable game, and as far as I can tell, Diablo 3 is fully playable, minus the online content. I haven't had a single crash with my AMD card, nor have I noticed any real issues with the gameplay. This game runs at an almost perfect 30 frames per second with the RX 590, which is almost as smooth as the original hardware. Higher end PCs can even outperform the original hardware. With the 1080 Ti, Diablo 3 stays at an almost constant 60 frames per second, with some dips into the 50s. Of course, you can play the PC version if you want high refresh rates, but this game offers up a fantastic couch co-op experience on the console versions. Unfortunately, however, that experience doesn't exist on Xenia just yet. When a second player attempts to join, the game hangs up and you're left staring at a loading icon. The only other issue with this game that I'm aware of is that it doesn't generate the directories needed to save the game, but you can fix this very easily by creating the proper directories yourself. So that's where Xenia and these three games stand as we close out 2019. Hopefully we'll see a few fixes for bugs in the near future that really bring these games together, but overall it's really impressive to see Xbox 360 games this playable on the PC, 
and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this emulator progresses from here. Again, you can check out Xenia through the links in the description, and if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to see more content from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.